Okay, so taking my P. Louise base and a Zoeva 233 brush to pat in this eyeshadow base. I'm using the Blossom Eyeshadow Palette by Blush Tribe today, going into the black shade on an E25 brush from Sigma. Just patting in this black shade and then slowly, very slowly, dragging it up into the crease so that you don't create any harsh lines or something you can't take back. Remembering to use swiping and circular motions to really create a perfect blend. Uh, now going into the outer corner, doing the same actions. Using black really takes time so that you don't mess it up. So just take your time. Be careful, as you can see me doing, just slowly blend it out. Now taking the red shade on a Sigma E36 brush. If you don't have this brush, you need it. It is so perfect for uh, blending in a particular spot. As you can see, it's really tapered in and small. It's just amazing. So here we're creating gradient from the black to the red and leaving a little spot in the center where we will put white. Now I'm just taking a clean fluffy brush to blend out any edges. Now taking the white shade on a Morphe M431 brush and placing this directly in the center. You don't have to be too careful with this because we're going to go back in with the red and just make sure the blend between them is perfect. So now grabbing that red shade on the same Sigma E36 brush and making a gradient between them. Now you can see I'm sort of creating a V which I think looks really flattering in this type of eye look. Now taking the black shade again on the Sigma E55 and just blending this onto the lower lash line. I'm just using a face powder now to blend out any edges so you can always do this if you think your edges are looking harsh or not blended right or they need to be softened. Okay, taking the new Kat Von D dagger liner, it's amazing, so sharp as you can see. And we're going to begin to draw the spider on. So take your time, replay this as many times as you need, and you'll get there. As you can see, I turn the liner to use the flat edge where need be and then use the straight edge when I want sharper clean lines and that's what I love about this liner. Okay now I'm mixing the white and black shade to make grey just to create some depth in the spider's body. Okay, now just continuing to mix the white and black to create grey and make shadows behind the spider's legs and body and fangs to create an almost 3D effect. Now I'm just taking a red liquid lipstick to put little eyes on the spider. Lining the waterline now, I've gone with a black gel. Could have looked really good red or any colour you would like to put there. Time for lashes. I love Livia lashes. This is the style I'm Reezy. They're a little bit shorter than some of the dramatic lashes I wear because I didn't want to cover up everything. That's it. Thanks so much for watching and make sure to tag me on Instagram if you recreate this look. Bye guys.